Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum reached target. We're going to take a look at that. In the last video, I gave you two targets for Ethereum in this corrective wave down. The first one was reached. So there you go and very accurate, I believe. So we can zoom in and take a look in a minute. Um, however, where are we here? So we can see that we moved up in a wave one, came down in a wave two here in white. We are now based on this wave count in a wave three in white. And within the wave three, we have subwaves. We would be in the early stages. So we would be in a wave two of a wave three. That wave two is currently coming down, might be finished. We can take a look at that in a minute. Um, however, we have built here a one, two, and then the three is going to come, the four and the five, which would complete the wave three in white. Um, the chart generally looks a bit more bullish than the Bitcoin chart, I have to say. Yeah, we're a little bit further ahead in the wave count. We seem to be doing a little bit better. Um, However, again here as well, same story as on the Bitcoin chart, we would need to first, yeah, to really also confirm a bullish scenario. We, we don't only want to, to see it here in the Elliott wave patterns, we also want price confirmation. Price confirmation bullish, a, a good one at least, would be obtained here above that resistance area, above 1280. 1255 to 1280, that is a resistance area that Ethereum needs to get above. I've been saying that to you for a long time now. If, it's the, if, if Ethereum doesn't go through this area here in red, all of this could very easily just be a correction. Yeah, we have to be aware of that. Um, and therefore, there is, of course, a bullish and a bearish count. And until we go above that area here, it is not very clear yet which of these scenarios is going to work out. However, as soon as we see us going through here very strongly, decisive price action above 1280, I would say that we can say with greater confidence that the low has been in at $880. As long as we don't do that, we have to be on high alert that it could be rolling over and it could just be basically here a relief rally before we see another dump, maybe all the way down to $615. So for now, however, it is working out. A good indication that this might become the bearish version yeah, and that we will go below the low of the 18th of June, that means below 880, is if we take out the low here at $1,045, that wave too low. If we go below that, then it would indicate, in my opinion, that we are not in the bullish scenario. For now, however, Ethereum has reached the target I gave you, gave you the target of 11.33 in the previous video, um, and we reached Maybe we just do it now in this hour, but we already came down to 11.32. No, 11.33 is the price now. Target I gave you was here, 11.30. So uh, we've already come down to 11.32. So, so far, accurately measured in my opinion. That first target was based on the length of the... Um, let me just think which one that was. That here was the target... We had two. We had this one here, 11.30 and um, 1,100. Yeah. So we reached the first one based, I believe that was on the length of the wave W and the 1.618 extension. We can just measure that again. So anyway, first target reached, which is good. And we can look at that. No, this was the second target here. Oh, did just need to do it accurately. And then here's the low, we need to pick properly. And yeah, then we had here this, this was the second target, the 1.618 extension of the wave W. Okay, I believe the other one here was the extension of the wave A, yeah, um, reaching this one, the 1.618 extension. There were two, two valid target areas where the price has a good chance to turn around. Um, again, we've just reached the first one and we now need to see how the price is going to react to it. At the moment, it doesn't seem like we see a very bullish reaction to it. Therefore, it would make it very likely to reach the next one at $1,095. Yeah, I'll tell you that now, uh, before we break through, in my opinion, there's a good chance to break through this, especially as if you've watched my Bitcoin video, I for Bitcoin also expect a little bit lower prices before we can recover after we um, came down a little bit lower than expected in one of these scenarios which made us favor the alternative scenario. Here, this is all still very much covered by this scenario. 
and we would uh, expect now if we go through this level at 1130 there's still a chance to find support here but if we break below it substantially the next target would be here 1095 and that's what we're looking at here at the moment from there there's another chance to turn around and then we would get into this wave three to the upside um, and we would have to reach fair 1555 roughly in that area yeah um, in that wave three that means in the next move up after probably a little bit further corrections here we would turn around and um, have to break through this red target area again this is a must for the price in a bullish scenario it, if it doesn't do it and if we don't see a turnaround here then yeah i think if we don't go if we don't stop here at the 1.618 extension at 1095 at the latest then we have to um get more familiar with the view that we might actually just be in a bearish scenario okay and that is my view here about ethereum at the moment so hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye